So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe you're doing great and staying safe. So what we'll discuss in today's video? Well, in today's video, we will discuss about the engineering admission process in Maharashtra. All the complete information about this Maharashtra will be given in this video. So particularly those students who are targeting Maharashtra and majorly the engineering courses must watch this video because this video is going to be really informative. Let's start this video. Now, before starting this video, let me give you a simple scenario. Like suppose if you are someone who's targeting any college, like say uh, the college is X, right? So the college has some entrance examination, right? That you need to clear to get into that college. Let's say that entrance examination is Y. So in this particular video, we have categorized the entrance examination into three parts. The first one, national level entrance exam, like in Maharashtra, which national level entrance exam is applicable. Then we'll discuss about the respective colleges. Then in Maharashtra, what is a state level entrance exam, right? So state level entrance exam and then respective colleges that if you clear the state level entrance exam, then what are the major college options that is in front of you? Then the third one is college level entrance exam, college level entrance exam, or more profoundly, you can say that this is nothing but university level entrance exam. So if you clear, you will be specifically going to that particular college or university. Meanwhile, we'll be discussing about the admission process. And again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. So let's start this video. So let's start with discussing about the national level entrance examination. So as you all know, right, if you're someone targeting BTEC or engineering courses, you must head of this entrance exam, right? That is JE mains. Yes. So JE mains is a national level entrance exam in India, which opens gateways to many engineering colleges from the top to the bottom, mediocre, top mediocre, like everything. Okay. So in Maharashtra, there are many options if you qualify this examination. And the second one is, which is actually the part two of this entrance exam uh, after JE mains is JE advance. So JE advance opens a gateway to IITs. So in Maharashtra, this is SPGN, right? IIT Bombay, one of the renowned institute, national level institute of the country. So you will be given option to, you know, admit in that particular university or essentially technology or institute in there. But what is the basic eligibility criteria? So the basic eligibility criteria for the national level entrance exam or the state level entrance exam or even for the college level entrance exam, more or less same. Passing class 12th with physics, chemistry or mathematics being optional as biology or computer science with 65% marks. But I ask you to score more than 70% marks to be on the safer side right as you all know that there are a total of 23 iits in the country so 23 iits this is open only if you clear je advance right there are a total of 11275 seats which is spread across various courses in this iits all right now what are the top colleges under je mains and je advance again if you qualify je advance if you qualify je advance you have only one option the top college of the country yes that's iit bombay but if by chance, if you qualified JE means, then also you have a number of top colleges like VNIT, VNIT Nagpur. Actually, VNIT Nagpur is a national level institute that's popularly known as NIT Nagpur. Okay. Then you have ICT Mumbai, then COEP. Again, that's a great college, College of Engineering Pune. We have prepared a separate video on this particular college, COEP Pune. That what is a college, where it is located, what is a placement scenario, courses, pedagogy, exposure, alumni network, everything of this college. So visit the site. Maybe you will find this link highlighting in front of me. So this is COEP. Then we have VGTI Pune. Then we have Army Institute of Technology. And finally, MIT WPU. Again, there are other options, right? These are the top colleges. There are other options as well. So it is just like you qualify the national level entrance exam. You will be open to number of colleges. Just like in MBA, you qualify CAT, that is common admission test, there are a number of colleges which starts from IIMs, right, from the IIMs to the top colleges like IMT, Gajabad or Spijan, you know, or n number of colleges. So this is same like in here. Now let's discuss about the state level entrance exam. So for the state level entrance exam, this is particularly talking about state. So which means that if you qualify this entrance exam, you will be given admission in this particular state only Maharashtra. So this is state specific, right? That was national specific. So in the state specific, the entrance exam for the engineering course is popularly known as MH2CET, common entrance uh, examination, right? This is for the engineering Maharashtra common entrance test. This happens once in the year. Of course, the online mode is there. So the exam is conducted online and there are two papers, right? Two papers, paper one, 
and paper 2 of 2.3 hours that's 2 hour 30 minute each so you can say that there are a total of 5 hours you need to spend for paper 1 and paper 2 typically because maharashtra is a very you know huge state so 4.13 lakhs is the total number of students which give this examination every year right just after iit j this is that entrance exam maharashtra because maharashtra has its own advantage right in terms of placements in terms of the location right in terms of the peer network in terms of diversity there are much thing in here that's why after this exam which is j means right students second priority is this which is mht ct why because there are many government college right many government college good options right a better life after this point of time typically there are 400 colleges which accepts this score which is mht ct so again a wide number of options you'll have so if you visit the site which is www.cetcell.mahacet.org you will have more information about this college this entrance exam that what type of questions are being asked of course this will be lesser than the uh, level of difficulty in j mains right or j advance a good option if you're someone targeting maharashtra must prepare for this exam this entrance exam which is mht ct before i move forward let me announce a very important part here now this is for the nri students so for the nris we have prepared an nri ebook that's related to dasa and ciwg you can download it from the link in the description below so we have a compiled set of nri books that will not really help for the preparation but that will really help to define the strategies to attempt the examination to clear the cutoff and finally to lead a successful life many of our students have performed so well in iit j iit advanced you know and state level entrance exam there's testimonials are in the video right in this channel particularly right so if you just scroll down search you'll find many testimonials and you will find more testimonials being uploaded in the coming times maybe after this video only all right so this is about desa and ciwg let's move on and discuss about the colleges which accepts mht ct score so there are many colleges 400 colleges that's a huge number you have to take a call like which college is good for me so in for this i have prepared a separate video right that separate video will help you out to clear this mindset that okay i want to go in this college because this college is where i can perform better no college is bad right just remember one thing in your mind no college is bad you are the person who says that this is bad this is good but there are parameters i have defined seven parameters on which you take a call and you go to any particular college and finally admit it so maybe that video will be link will be displayed somewhere in here again visit that you'll have more information well if i talk about for the colleges which accepts mht ct score then this is ict mumbai which is institute of chemical technology a good college the total fees is 3 lakh 41 thousand not too much too high then we have vjti mumbai which is a good option then you have nit right again in mht ct right you just see this thing that mht ct if you qualify mht ct you will be given admission in this nit nagpur again national level institute because in maharashtra there are certain different parameters like in few colleges they do not accept any scorecard any entrance exam even that seats are paid right then we have sir jj college of architecture government college of engineering then government college of engineering amravati then national fire service college much option right like usha mittal institute of technology in mumbai that's a good college right then you have bamu then you have panjamaru desmuk krishi vidyapeet akola so much option in here right 400 options take a call visit the college visit the college from all the perspectives which i say and take a final call well before i move on the last part of this presentation is the college level entrance exam so the college level entrance exam in mumbai is basically not three but more than three right i'm particularly talking about three four in here this is para cet particularly targeting one college then icar i a i e e a then we have sat and we have set so i take any random let's say if i take set so set is for symbiosis right that is particularly for the symbiosis and its branch so you have symbiosis if you want to get into symbiosis because there are various colleges they have their own repo they have their own branding right so for that they conduct their own entrance examination let's take a very simple example like suppose if i talk about for xlri right xlri everybody knows it's a brand in india right so for xlri they do not conduct cat scorecard although cat has a major entry in the mba but they have their own entrance exam which is zat zat is being accepted in xlri and all the xavier's colleges they do not accept cat score particularly Xavier's which I'm talking about right XLRI 
So similarly as symbiosis, they have their own entrance exam. Not only in the BTEC, they have their own entrance exam. For the symbiosis, they conduct SNAP, right? You need to clear SNAP to get admission in symbiosis, symbiosis international university or like some something like SIBM Pune or SCHMRD, right? Then uh, SIOM, SITM, there are various colleges under symbiosis because it's a university. So they conduct their own exam. That is the point in here. So similarly, in the case of BTEC, they conduct SEET, SET, sorry, you need to clear SET, then you get a call from symbiosis. Well, what are the best private colleges in Maharashtra? So there are various best colleges in Maharashtra because Maharashtra is a very huge state, right? You, you will have BVU, COEP Pune, then you have AIT Pune, then you have SPIT Mumbai, then you have MIT WPU Pune, YCCE Nagpur, KG Somaya Engineering College, right? That's again a very good college. The fees is not too high, it's 3.7 lakhs, okay? And again, you'll have much exposure, you'll enjoy the place Mumbai, right? Then you have Pimpri, Chinchinwad, College of Engineering. There are many options, right? You visit, you visit the site of this Maharashtra, Maharashtra College, right? So there you will find number of colleges. So again, the key criteria is very simple. Visit the college, see the placement scenario, see what is the you know diversity, what is the peer network, what is the alumni network, right? And much thing in here, and then take a final call. So this is about the best admission, uh, best colleges. Now let's discuss about the admission process. Like what is the major admission process that you follow? Well, you know that thing, right? You know that thing that suppose if you're targeting any college, let's again take that particular example. You targeted X college, right? And for that X college, there is Y entrance, okay? So for the Y entrance, you just need to do the registration thing. Take an example of IIT J or J mains. So you do the registration, right? Sign up thing in your language and then upload all the necessary documents. When the registration is done, then you have your credentials, right? Post that, they will send you admit card go to the place where they you will have the center give the examination clear the cutoff so that's it then the college roles comes into picture or the state roles comes into picture or the institute role comes into picture okay then they do the counseling process if you again are into it then finally you will be given provisional admission okay once the provisional admission is given post that select the necessary documents that they are asking for and you're done enjoy the four year learn as more as you can so this is about the video and this is about the major courses major colleges in maharashtra regarding the courses i would like to say one thing that if you're targeting any particular college do research on courses as well because there are many instances where students were saying that so this college is good but particularly for this college only this course is only right so for that you just need to do to the research work all right so this is all about this video i hope you enjoyed again if you have any questions any queries any cures regarding this maharashtra or any particular college in maharashtra just write in the comment section below we have our team they will get back to you all right so this is all about this video i hope you enjoyed again if you like this video please like subscribe our youtube channel test prep card so that you will not miss any updates any informative videos from us and this is all stay tuned thank you